Right, today in this video we're going to look at saw chains, how to identify them and what file size you need. Now there are quite a few different sizes of chain, this one being a bit ridiculous but it's a good example. But there are three or four things that you need to know about saw chain to be able to identify them. And why would you want to identify them? A to get a replacement and B to get the right file size so they sharpen it properly. If you go back and look at one of my videos entitled Chainsaw Abuse and follow that through you'll learn all about the gullet here and that angle there and that sort of thing and when you get it wrong what can happen. So just as a brief explanation on this, that's the depth gauge. This is the cutter that does the cutting and as you notice it slopes backwards from the cutting edge. This is the gullet top plate, side plate. So, But we'll be talking mainly about pitch and gauge which can only be measured if you have a section of chain with some drive links or quite a lot of chains have identifying numbers on but that's only any good if you've got the chart for that make of chain if it's still or Husqvarna something like that you're alright or Oregon but you get Sabre and all sorts of strange marked chains that you can't find any technical details for then you've got to measure it yourself. So let's get into some fine detail. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is just charge into this. What we need to do first of all, just clean the chain up a bit so we can see the side plates. And sometimes they'll have a name on them. And you need your best glasses on for this. Or even two. I thought so. It says still there. Let's just zoom in on that. And this is quite an old chain because it actually tells you what the pitch is on the bottom of the depth gauge. Now you're going, what do you mean pitch? Well, we're going to cover that in a moment. Old steel chains will tell you that. New ones have got a fancy numbering system. It can't be simple just to write the, the pitch on, on the chain. They've got to go and change it. But never you mind. And if you'll notice also, there's a 6 there. And on the old chains, that tells you the thickness of this drive link. So... Um, let's continue. So, the distance between the, the centre of that rivet and the centre of that rivet is different from the centre of that rivet to the centre of that one. Just the nature of the way the chain is made and the fact that these drive links have to fit in the sprocket. So the pitch unlike with a bicycle chain where every rivet is the same distance apart on a saw chain the pitch is between there and there center to center and then divide it by two so you can measure it and do a bit of mass but here's the rob 404 is 404 thou so generally you have quarter pitch chain which is found on a quite a lot of modern small saws especially pole saws and climbing saws and that sort of thing the next one up from that is 325 so you've got quarter pitch which is a quarter of an inch then you've got 325 which is 0.325 of an inch or 
325 thousandths of an inch. The next one you've got 38 and then there are two types of 38 pitch chain. A Pico which is a very very lightweight chain with a small cutter and then you have the Rapid which is a full size cutter on a heavy duty chain and then you have the 404 there are other sizes but we don't need to talk about those so you have to measure between there and there now of course trying to measure with a ruler in thous unless you're an engineer is a bit tricky let's just see if we can see what that says well it's a bit shy of seven eighths which means nothing to most people it's thirteen sixteenths and if you try and divide that and multiply and everything I no doubt you could do it um, but I'm just pointing out that some chains are more difficult to measure than other chains. Let's see if we can find another one. Right, here's another chain, but on the depth gauge it says 25. That's 25 thou. That's the setting of the depth gauge. The depth gauge is 25 thou lower than the top of the cutter. But this one's an Oregon chain, so the markings are different again. If we offer the ruler up to it though, centre to centre, it measures 13 sixteenths. So that's a 404 chain. But how would we know that otherwise? Well, there's various charts you can get and I'll show you them a bit later on. No, I won't. I'll show you now. So here's the chart. And here we go, down at the bottom. 404 pitch. In metric, that's 10.26 or 10 and a quarter mil. Depth gauge setting. 0.8 of a mil which is 31 thou okay so charts make a difference if you look at this 325 0.325 pitch is 8.25 mil and the depth gauge setting is 0.65 which is 26 thou okay so pitch means a great deal and it also uh, defines your file size. Right, coming back to this steel chain, if we measure between the centre of the rivet there and the centre of the rivet there, it's a bit shy of 21 mil. So 21 mil, 21 mil divided by 2 is 10.5 and of course on the chart it says 10.26 mil so therefore it's close enough for measuring with a ruler it's either close enough or if you got the wrong pitch chain it's way out right here's another example this, if you can see there, it's a still, and it's an old chain, so it says 3.8. So this is a 3.8 pitch. This one is unmarked, but that's a 3.8 pico. So the pitch on this chain is the same as that, but the difference in the, the size of the components is quite dramatic. And I've just added this bit in because whilst I was editing I became aware that 
on this 3.8 chain the cutter is very worn it's not quite down to its wear limits but it's not far away so I thought I'd just as a point of reference this is one that's only been sharpened a few times so you can see the size of the cutter now in relationship to that one there on the Pico chain and another thing that's important about the pitch is the pitch must be correct for the sprocket on your chainsaw and the roller nose on the end of the bar because they're fixed to a certain pitch so we're just going to measure this and because it is 3 8 we can actually use the inch rule because between one between there and the third rivet should be three quarters of an inch three quarters divided by two is three eighths easy so this is a standard 3 8 chain and this one is a 3 8 pico heavy duty lightweight but the same pitch so having dealt with pitch we need to also deal with gauge which is the thickness of the drive link so this one on this 38 pico chain is 1.1 mil it's a bit worn but it's 1.1 and on this almost new but old uh, 404 chain it's 1.6 mil and it's important to get the right gauge of chain for your bar because either it's going to be flopping around in the groove like mad let's grab hold of a bar here we go you see how the drive link sits in the groove like that now this is a 1.6 mil chain and if we try and put a 1.1 in there you can see it flops around like mad and of course if you've got say a 1.3 mil gauge bar that's the width of this groove and you try and put a 1.6 in it it might just about fit, fit if things are worn but there'll be a lot of friction and sparks so when you're buying a chain the gauge of the chain or the thickness of the drive links is vital to suit the bar you've got so the next thing you've got to think about is the cutter type you're going to buy a new chain what cutter type have you got well if you don't know then you're better off with a rounded cornered one which is called a semi chisel it's not quite so aggressive and it's a bit more forgiving the other major type is the chisel chain and as you can see that is a sharp corner so this little point here does quite a lot of work and you get that damage to that it will impair the cutting very significantly these are a lot more aggressive so if you're an occasional user use a semi chisel not a chisel so why do we need to know about pitch and cutter type whether it's a 3.8 Pico or a 3.8 standard I'm just going to show you this let's zoom in on that as you can see here this is for still so the modern coding code on the depth gauge the old way as we can see on these old chains but basically it tells you 
the file size. So for a 3.8 Pico, which is this one here, 4 mil. For a 404, 5.5, 3.8, 5.2, 3.25, 4.8. So it's important to know your pitch to get your file size right. And go back to the chainsaw abuse video and you can see why it's important to get the file size right. But basically, 20% of the file should be above the top plate to get the angle right. And the book that I've been using to show you these charts is free from main still dealers. Very good little manual tells you a lot. But you can get you can get other forms of information like this. Let's just zoom in a bit. 38 Pico, 38 P. Doesn't want to focus. That's better. Four mil file. 0.65 mil for the depth gauge setting. And you have a very occasional user saw here, a Mi uh, Pico Mini Micro, which has a 0.45 mil depth gauge setting, but the the depth gauge is bent over. If you see there in the photo, don't think that would cut very well somehow. <laughs> 